I could pull out all the topics that, I've, that I wanted to comment on and start pointing out for you right there, but. <laughs> Bye, girl. But, okay, good evening, no. As you know, they greet us. Maple greets you. Good evening, no. Uh, good evening, my sister. It's always, it's always nice to see some very beautiful chocolate. <laughs> Don't be talking, yes. <laughs> Concerning Christmas, that a freeze, I will tell you that um, Christmas is not really about the it's not really about the date. Then what is you know, it about? It's not really about the date. It's just to me, it's about the it's about celebrating Christ. And uh, who whoever celebrating him. He never told us to celebrate his birthday. Why are you celebrating yeah. Christ in a way that Christ does not like? Mm. You see, split two birthdays in scripture. One of them mm. was when his cousin. John the Baptist was killed. Hmm. John the Baptist I was think, I think the ideology that people have in mind is a story. Not about what you have in mind. You are not allowed to have ideologies when you have a guidebook. That is true. You know, you that have is true. A now that I should bring a snake to the altar and anytime I want to pray, I pray with the snake. Can I can I can I can I say something? Imagine imagine um I, I've met some people say, that uh, from I, don't say from your imagination. Okay, okay, okay. I, 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 I want to give a scenario. I met some people who who never knew the time they were born. You okay, see, the point. It has nothing to do with when you were. What? It has everything. To do with who asked you to celebrate the birth? Okay. Okay, okay, that that free let, let me just land let me just land on what I'm trying to say. Now, um there are some people who yeah. never knew the time they were born. Well, now you are taking the argument to another level. The okay, question, I, 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 about about Jesus. He never Jesus never asked us to celebrate him for his birthday. There's no place in the scripture. There's no place in the scripture. But yeah. as a good Bible scholar, when you read the Bible and you read the whole thing that happened during the birth of Jesus, how the, the so-called wise men, even though it's arguable that they were not three or they were more than three, they brought gifts for Jesus. And and um, I think that ideology is what people try to try to redo all over again. And so let us celebrate Jesus. Let's give to the poor on a particular day, even though Jesus Come never said to fix a particular day. Ourselves. Wait, can I ask you a question, sir? Come Sorry. On, help me ask him. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Like, I get your ideology, like, I get your ideas on this topic, you know? but let me ask you what, how about, don't you think that if this Christmas celebration is a love shot for people or for Christians generally. How about the people that existed before us in the scripture? How come they never did this whole thing? Like, how come they never had this idea of coming together to celebrate for the birth of Christ? Like, don't you think is a question to answer first? In the in in, in the days in the the this whole celebration of Jesus just started. Um, I know that the first will have more information about that. I don't want to say something I don't have information about, but I think it, st it started um, years after the death and uh, uh, after the resurrection of Christ. Maybe by the Roman, maybe by the that the you can put more, more enlightenment about that. Yes, it's, it's not so Constantine. Uh, yeah, they, sorry, sir. I think. I think. Hello, sir. Sorry. I think you should do more research on this before you can, like, try to convince people about what you think no, about I this whole celebration. Dear yeah, lady, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to convince you to celebrate Christmas. Emphatically, no. No. I never said you you convinced me or you con but this is this is this is the life like a whole lot of people are listening to exactly. this. Like, okay, let's just assuming you accept it. 
you don't have to like there's no need for a justification because as a christian that i am i think it's very right and convincing for me to follow what is what i think is right that is done in the scripture not like everything in the scripture is not right so i think it's right for me to follow as as a follower of christ he never celebrated that he never asked us to do that and i don't think there is any reason for me to want to do something like if my dad didn't ask me to do something and I don't think there is enough reason for me to go ahead and do that because that's right. just a waste of time we have simply yeah hello sorry this place is kind of dark i do apologize even my own is dark they never <laughs> just yeah i'm just walking I'm yeah back. what's up what are we talking about christmas so we're talking about christmas um that is the efficacy of celebrating 25th as christmas and and um i was telling that freeze and the beautiful lady here i was telling them that um is it the, the day is not really the importance the reason of every christian coming together to celebrate a particular day uh about christ <laughs> is the importance there it may not be scriptural but i i i just think that 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 uh, that thoughtfulness of say okay everybody in the whole world let's give a day to remember the 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 birth of christ let's give a day to remember the resurrection of christ you okay. know it's um, uh, let me give you some let me so let me sorry it's kind of noisy here but i'm going to try and let me try and give you some um, brief lesson in history if you permit me um christmas as we know it today obviously um it's nice it's nice now because it's commercialized yeah it's nice now because it, to even start to has nothing to do with christ Let's even start from there. He has nothing to do with Christ. He has nothing to do with his death. He has nothing to do with his resurrection. He has nothing to do with day was born. Nothing. So let's take that aside. That is factual. There is no one, even there is no pastor that will tell you that Jesus was born December 20. I'm not even talking about the date now because nobody even knows the day he was born. So let's exactly. know that. If you look at the scriptures, if you read the New Testament, um they said um the the wise men saw stars that directed them to where they were going and mm -hmm. december is a winter time so even the time frame doesn't align so exactly. you can punch holes in every everything yeah. that we know today exactly. so now let me give you small lesson in how christmas started there was a time in america that christmas was actually banned i think in the 1950s it was banned totally for so many years um they didn't celebrate christmas because they just felt okay for example there were so many gods i'm going to use the word gods before christ before christ's time there were so many gods before christ that their birthdays were also celebrated december 25th gods like krishna i don't know if you have heard of krishna yes. krishna was born december 25th um the persons the persian god december 25th uh, the Greek god, December 25th. Um, the Roman god, December 25th. Before he now came to 2,000 years ago, Christian god, let me put it that way, the one you call Jesus, December 25th. This is the handwork of one person, a Roman emperor called Constantine. They sat down together, so choose, don't forget, during the time of Constantine, there was a war. Mm -hmm. The believers were fighting against, when I say believers, I mean Christians. They were fighting against people that were uh, worshipping their own gods. Mm -hmm. So people were killing people in the alley and all that. And during Constantine era, he wanted to devise a means where there will be one religion, where mm -hmm. everything will be under one religion. So what he did was everything pagan. Constantine was a pagan emperor. Don't forget. Oh. Everything pagan, Constantine just literally is like copy and paste. He just took the birthday of his God, added it to Christ, the Christian Christian God. Jesus. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? That is the history of Christmas. And everything went like that. They changed Sunday. They didn't just stop there. 
Saturday is the Sabbath day. If you go by the Jewish tradition, they change the Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday to worship of the sun god. So it was literally copy and paste. Plagiarism from one tradition or one religion, their religion, under the guise of Christianity. And don't forget, when we call... Sorry, I'm on the road. The place we call Turkey today used to be known as Constantinople. That was where yeah. Baron Constantine settled. And that was where they sat down, the Council of the Asia in 625 AD. Sorry, did you say something? Yeah, I, I said, I said that, 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 that there's a place like that in Turkey. Yeah. 625 AD, where they sat down to choose... It, they, 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 they literally, that was the first council. After that, about 30 councils came after that. Mm. And, hey, buddy, how you doing? See you later. So what those councils were doing was to, for every council that sat, they either added or removed. They added or removed. Up to the kind of Bible we think we have today that we are yeah. using. That's why you have different versions. Uh, hello guys, how you doing? I'll see you later. Yeah. Up to the Bible that you think we're using today, that's why you see a lot of versions of the Bible, a lot of misinterpretations, a lot of um, distortions, fabrications, some true, some deliberate lies, even what we call the Bible today. And that's just facts. There is no scholar today that will sit, you will sit down with and he will tell you that Christmas Christmas has nothing to do with even Christianity. Yes, yes. Now, now so you're if you, I can understand what you are saying, though, that you were, we chose a date. We didn't choose a date. It was some guy in Rome that chose the date for you. Yeah. Now, now, the thing is this. All that you're saying is 100% correct. Okay? Now, for whoever chose the date, okay, I, the ideology behind it may not be exactly what we are following. What idea okay. to celebrate Christ? Really, why do you need a date to celebrate Christ? No, you see, I think you see. Let me let me say something. When you when you start to cut it like that, when you start to bring bring it down like that. You, you take away logic, okay? Because because I I can also yes. criticize it. Like you, like, like, like you're criticizing. Like I can also criticize it. Criticizing. I was giving you facts. I'm giving you history. I'm not you don't like logic. This yeah. is the reality. This is the real story. There's nothing bro, added chill. or extracted. Bro, chill. Bro, chill. Everything I've said, you can literally go online and ask That's and read up on it. I'm not even making I wish I was making this up. No, you were not making it up. It is under, I've, 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 I've read it. I've watched it somewhere in a documentary. I, I can recollect what, exactly what you're saying. But what I'm trying to say is this. Now, the 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 the, the Roman the Roman Constantinople all things, okay he is now no matter the ideology behind what he did with yeah. the whole dates with the other deities and gods like you mentioned the question is this was was there a Jesus Christ there was no Jesus Christ there was just Yeshua there was no okay. Jesus Christ to even begin with listen, listen, listen. I know now you're going deeper. But I'm not trying to be on a layman path. Okay, let's stick to Christmas. Let's stick to Christmas. Let's stick to Christmas. So, 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 so there's, there's, Hello, sir. So, so, sorry, sorry. Can I say something, please? please? Let me just land. Now, the thing oh, is, please, um, yeah, please let me finish. Let him finish. Now, the thing is that, was there a Jesus Christ or Yeshua, or whatever you call him? Yes. Okay. Was he born? Yes. Did he die? Yes. Okay. Did God raise the dead? Yes. Okay, now we we let us say let us say let us say there's no Constantinople. Okay, let us say he never chose that day. Okay, now let us say through history, one one Christian guy, okay, one Christian guy just decides and say, I think we should we should and and celebrate Christ, even though every day. We are celebrating. We are, we are, we are keeping this world. We are obeying the commandment. Now, now, now. Let us say we choose a day and we are celebrating Christ. Not, not because it was biblical. Okay? But the, the ideology... You, you, you know, you are shooting yourself in the foot. 
Uh, you're a Christian. I want to assume you're a Christian, right? Practically, yes. Okay, fine. If you're a Christian, and I want to assume that, obviously, the Bible is your manuscript, is your guide. Exactly. exactly. Why would you go outside what is your guide for your religion? Why would you even... This, do you know the funniest thing? Do you know how crazy Christmas is? It's not even from Genesis to Revelation. It's not even anywhere there. Because it did not happen anywhere. Yes. It didn't happen. That day did not happen. Did the story happen? What was story now? The story of birth, the birth of Christ. No, I'm saying, was he born by, by a virgin? He was born, yeah. Exactly. But why do we have to celebrate it on a pagan day, though? No, who told, no, no. Who says a day can be called a pagan day? Because it is pagan. December 25th is pagan. For example, for example, wait, that wait, the free. That guys, the free. Guys, everybody calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. This argument has gone back. The questions are, is Christmas a Christian day? No. Hold on. No, no, no. My dear brother, is Christmas a Christian day? Christmas, a Christian day, bros. Don't use your use your don't use your church mind. Say the truth, the way it is. Let's be honest. Okay. Is okay. it? We want to celebrate Christ. Now, hold on, hold on. Okay. Why don't we celebrate <clears throat> by killing a goat, spilling the blood on into a river, and calling his name Bowed? Why do you do it like that? We don't do that because the scriptures does not support us killing goats and calling his name a leader. Like I just said, bro. Like I just said, now you have literally shot yourself in the foot many, many times. Okay, okay. You are contradicting yourself. That the phrase. We know. We know that every man has a wheel, right? Every man has a wheel. Let us. Going round in a circle like a. Bro, that is phrase. I want to say something. I want to quickly say something before I go. You know, what did, uh, bros, what you're doing right now just reminds me of when we're talking about a tight issue. Oh. When people wanted to pay, no, I want to use an example. People wanted to pay tight like Abraham. But when, when, I, when they tell me that, but Abraham paid tight. So I now tell them, why are you cherry picking, cherry picking that tight part of Abraham? Why don't you marry your slaves like Abraham? Why don't you have concubine like Abraham? Why don't you do burnt offering like Abraham? Show me you want to be like my father Abraham. Why are you cherry picking? That's what you are doing right now. You are using emotions and sentiments to celebrate a pagan day that has nothing to do with your savior. Your question, bro, I want to ask you a question. Yeah, sure. What, what made that day, no matter the day of the week it ends up, what made 25th of December a, 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 among the whole world make it a pagan day? Who no, they, 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 they walk. Do you know what? Do you know what? Let me now shock you. If you go to Israel today, there are just two percent Christians in Israel. If you Christmas Day is not a, it's not an holiday in Christian in Israel, you know that, right? Do you know that? It doesn't right. exist. It doesn't exist. You need to get these facts right. So we in Africa, we carry it on our head like Gala, as if now we like Jesus pass. Mm -hmm. See, we have been taught in error, and we need Can to unlearn the lies. question: Is it right for us to choose a day and celebrate Christ? What right mm -hmm. do you need to choose a day? It's not important. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. For example, for example, do do you do family re 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 reunion? In your house. Let me ask you a question. Is I'm, celebrating I'm, 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 Christ's birthday more important to you than salvation? I'm saying you, you are missing up together. We do that. No, I just day. asked you a very simple question. Which is more which is relevant? Christ's birthday or salvation? The salvation. Then the why birth. are you talking about Christmas? Everything is important. No, no, Allah. Eat turkey and chop your rice. Nothing do you enjoy. <laughs> you see, eat your turkey, do your rice. Leave God out of it. <laughs> Leave God out of it. Let me tell you, eh? I asked you, I said, okay, imagine I wrap my a snake around my neck and I go into the bush and I'm praising God. And I say, that's how we should all celebrate Christmas. Let's celebrate the birth of Christ with beautiful animals like snakes. I want to ask you, why is it wrong? It's not scriptural. Good. Neither is this thing you people are doing. Fixing a day, right? It's not script. Listen, hold on. 
Celebrating birthdays is not scriptural. Fixing a day is not scriptural. Celebrating pagan way. Let me tell you, they, what you what you, you people are calling a celebration is not a celebration to Christ. Christ does not consider putting decorations up and down and you people going to, that's not a celebration as far as he's concerned. There were no such celebrations during his time. He didn't encourage such celebration. He never mandated such celebrations. It's just true. as of men. Now, do you have a Bible? Yeah, I do. Please read Mark chapter 7, verse 7. Okay, Mark 7, 7. Yes. Oh, this topic is so... I don't know, man. Okay, 7, 7. Um, ask and shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Matthew. Okay, Mark. You are reading Matthew. Reading Matthew. Okay, I'm sorry, Mark. Matthew, Mark. Seven, seven. Um, how be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men? For laying aside the commandments of God, you hold the tradition of men as a working of thoughts and cups and many other sorts like things you do. And he said unto them, it's okay. Why do you read King James Bible? Um, the other versions, the, the other versions I have are on the phone I'm using for. Oh, okay. The so, Bible, the Bible is the most mistranslated, and <laughs> it's also confusing. Most people don't understand it. I understand it because I studied scripture originally in King James. That's when I started realizing that this book is messed up. <laughs> read it again slowly, so I can explain okay. it. He says, um, how be it in vain do they how worship me? Do they worship? Yeah. In with what worship me? Uh, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Continue. Yeah. Uh, Continue. Verse 8. For laying aside the commandments of God, ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups. You hold and make all such like things you do. And is Christmas a tradition of God or a tradition of men? The tradition, the tradition of men. Simple. Your worship is a farce. You uphold man-made ideas as commands from God. You are turning man-made like Christmas a man-made idea. And not only are you selling it as a man, that's why I said, okay, you know what, we guys, we guys just choose this day, we party, the year is coming to an end, we just choose it. Is different. But when you now start bringing God into it and you are selling a man-made idea as a command from God, making it have relevance that it does not have, trying to tie it into Christianity, trying to, is futile. Okay, that, that, that is you're 100% correct. Okay, I'm not disputing what that. Nice and you're talking. Nobody is going to quarrel with you. I, 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 I understand that, I understand. But really, really sincerely, I, I, I understand what the scripture is saying. You know, I, I, I think the context of what I think Jesus was, was written in red, Jesus that was speaking, is saying that you, 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 you are bringing, you are creating doctrines that really wasn't commanded by God, and you are leaving out the, the real commandments of God aside. Now, did he, 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 he say it was a sin? No. He just, he just said you were doing something that is that profitable. And you will see evidence. You will see irrefutable evidence, but you don't want to face it. So what you do is you now try to go around and try to create like and twist it. That is that, 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 I'm not Christian. Is it written anywhere in the Bible that I cannot carry a snake around my neck and go into church and be praying with my snake and pouring palm oil everywhere? Is it written in the Bible? It's not, it's not written in the Bible, that is free. It's not written in the Bible, that is free. Is that, that, hold on, is it a sin? It is me praying to God, carrying a snake around my neck and pouring palm oil as I'm going into the church. Is it a sin? Um, is it a sin, pouring palm oil? Hmm. I'm taking a snake. The question is, we have to, have to, have to, have to dig in deeper. What does the snake stand for? What does the palm oil stand for? Why do you need it? As they say, you see, what I'm trying to tell you is, you are saying that Christ did not say Christmas is a sin, blah, blah, blah. He also did not say carrying a, a snake around your neck is a sin. You see, let me tell you, eh, once you start allowing corruption to enter, it will turn to Nigerian version of Christianity. Headless, senseless, 
directionless. Okay, okay. So that, that is freeze, that is freeze. Uh, oh, you your turkey, eat your rice. That is freeze, that is freeze, that is freeze. Can, 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 can I ask you a question? Yes. It's awesome. Can I ask you a question? The question is, do you celebrate your own birthday? No. Why? I because I don't, it's, it's, it's pig, birthdays are from, of pagan origin. I never liked them as I, I never was crazy about birthdays growing up. But the more I was enlightened, I realized that for my birthday, what do I get? Maybe people wish me happy birthday. A few people dash me money here and there. But to have a party, nah. The last one I did was when I was 45 years ago. And even that one was done for me. I don't believe in parties. I don't believe in birthday parties of all types of parties. So why do I need to celebrate? Let's even imagine I celebrated my birthday. So because I celebrate my birthday and it makes sense to me, I must now celebrate my God's birthday too. And my God does not have birthday. You see, we are making divine things very, very carnal. The, the, okay, that, 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 phrase, that phrase, you're 100% correct. I know that the thing is this, about, about, about choosing that particular day. All right, guys. I can... I've got to run. Uh, my battery is about to die. Thank you so much for joining okay, thank you. So much. And um, I wish you a beautiful new year coming. And Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Be done, my darling. Take good care. Thank you for joining. Bye. I don't allow please. you to talk much, but I love you. Take care and stay blessed. You too.